Yo, what is up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to go from this One day we can be to this. One day we can be together. Sometimes when we get the vocals from a singer or from a pack, the vocals it just won't stem and it sounds kind of empty. So to make our vocals sound full, we need side vocals, background vocals, vocals in other octaves, we need some harmonies and all of that. So how can we make all of that if we only have one stem? That's what I'm gonna show you today in this tutorial. I'm gonna be using the vocal of my new track One Day together with Astro Blast and Sam Knight that got released this past Friday. So if you didn't check the song, I recommend you to go and check it. It is out everywhere on Spotify, in Apple Music, in Deezer, and SoundCloud, YouTube, everywhere. Choose the one you prefer and go and stream it and well with that being said don't forget to leave a like on this video if it help you and let's start with it so when we decided to start working on the vocals of this track we just got this stem by some night and it was good but it was kind of empty and also you need a bit of processing so after a bit of processing we went from this one day to this one day we can be as you can hear now it sounds a lot cleaner it doesn't have that much resonance it sounds brighter and it sounds more in your face if you want to know how to do the processing of a vocal i did a tutorial some weeks ago so i recommend you to go and check that one because it's a really complete tutorial about vocals i'm showing you basically everything you need to know to get cool vocals to make them sound clean and in your face and present and all of that so i recommend you to go and check it because it's going to help you a lot and about the processing of this vocal i did it in two steps the first one was when we were working on the project of the track i just decided to put there the vocals and i started eqing and all of that there but the one moment that project was really big and it has a lot of things going on so FO Studio started crashing so what I decided to do is just exporting stems and I created a new project. In this second project is where I decided to do just the final editing of this vocal that was basically continue processing the vocal just to make it sound cleaner and so to make it fit with the track and also to create the new layers of this vocal to make it sound fuller. So well what do you need to know when you're gonna create new layers for a vocal? The first thing is where you want those layers to be. You don't really want to be all the time in the track because otherwise it's not gonna create like an impact. So the vocal is like this. We us won't bury us one day. And here is where we decide to add these new layers. And well, what to do to create the new layers? I'm gonna start first with the side vocals. So you need to know, of course, where you want it. So I want it from here to here. So now what you need to do is clone it and make it unique. So if you put this one on the left and this one on the right, as you can hear. One it's not doing anything, it sounds in the center. And this happens because they are exactly the same vocal. So the left and the right signal are exactly the same, so that's why it sounds in the center. So to create type vocals, you need to create different kind of vocals. And the best way is when the singer just decides to record again that part, you know, so it's not exactly the same. But as we don't have that option, this is what you have to do. We're gonna clone it again, make it unique again. We're gonna put the main vocal in the center, one on the left and one on the right. So what we're gonna do is go to this one and pitch it down a little bit. But I'm talking about a little bit, not one semitone, not two semitones, not three semitones. Just a little, little, little bit. So I'm gonna move it down and you can see up here the cents. And 100 cents is one semitone, so we don't want that. We want and not even 82 or something like this. We want just a little bit. So I'm gonna move it 20 cents down. And I'm gonna open the other one and I'm gonna move it up a little bit. So I'm gonna move it, for example, 25 cents up. So if we play it now... What? As you can hear now it sounds on the sides because they are not exactly the same vocal. But we can go a bit further with this. What I'm gonna do is make zoom and move this one a bit backwards and this one a bit forward. So I'm just gonna move it like two times and then this one like two or three times. I'm gonna just move it like this so it fits the grid. So now if you play it... One day. Sounds even wider because they are more different. But well, these vocals are exactly the same vocals as the main one. And even if you pitch it down and up and you move it and so, they are exactly the same vocal. So we need to treat them a little bit different. So this way it's not gonna clash with the main vocal. So I'm gonna put those vocals in one mixer channel. And now what I'm gonna do is link this mixer channel to the main vocal mixer channel. Because even if we're gonna treat them a bit different, we need the same DS in the same EQ in the same compression and all of that because basically it's the same vocal. Our goal is to make these vocals sound softer. To make this, first week what we're gonna do is reduce the S sound, the P's and the B's. For the S I'm gonna use a deesser, and for the P's and the B's what you can do is just use volume automations, or there are some plugins that also help on this, but in this vocal you, they weren't that uh, present so I didn't touch that. About the deessing there's only an S in this part. In this 
and I'm gonna reduce it a lot. Now what I'm gonna do is add a chorus because a chorus what it's gonna do is make the vocals sound softer and at the same time it's gonna add a bit more space to make them sound fuller. I'm just gonna use the fruity chorus and well here I don't have any tip just move the things and check how it sounds and I like something like this. As you can see now it sounds softer but this is too much so as this plugin doesn't have any mix knob I'm just gonna reduce it from here. Now what I'm gonna do is add a river, but a really, really, really short one, the shortest possible. This river, what it's gonna do, is just make the vocal a bit wetter, and also it's gonna add a bit more space to these vocals. At the same time, it's gonna put it a bit in the background, so this way the main vocal is gonna be more present in the mix, and that's what we want. So I'm just gonna use this river, as you can see, it's the shortest possible. I'm gonna increase a little bit the low cut, and well, we don't want 100% of the mix. <laughs> But as you can hear, it's really short. So I'm just gonna put it like 10%, something like that. Then what we need is to give more space to the main vocal by EQing. This way, these side vocals are gonna interfere less with the main vocal. To do this, I'm gonna open an EQ and check where the vocal is present. One day we can be together. More or less in those frequencies. So now what I'm gonna do is click here and send it to the side vocals. And on the side vocals, what I'm gonna do is just reduce a little bit here, like 1 dB or 2 dB. What we're going to do here to don't lose warmth on the side vocals is when you're reducing on the mid frequencies, just reduce it on the center. So just go here and instead of a stereo, just put it on mid. This way the side vocals are going to have less mids in the center because they have a bit of center even if they are on the sides. But you're not going to lose the mids of the sides. What? And on the highs you can also do it the same way or not. But what I recommend to do is to cut or reduce a lot the high frequencies. What? I recommend you to reduce or cut the high frequencies because the high frequency is something that's gonna make the vocals stand out more. It's gonna make them sound a bit closer to you and we don't really want that. We want that on the main vocal. And finally, what I recommend to do on these side vocals is to add a compressor. This way it's gonna be a lot more controlled and it's not gonna have peaks that are gonna interfere with the main vocal. One day we can All right, so now we have this. One day but this is way too loud. So just go here and reduce the volume. One So as you can hear now we have side vocals and it doesn't sound robotic or fake or something like that. It sounds like the singer is singing a lot of times and it sounds good. Now what I recommend to do is to have the vocal in different octave. You can put it one octave higher and one octave lower. I don't really like the feeling of the higher one, but the one one octave lower what it's gonna do is add a lot of body to your vocals. To do this, so simple, just clone again, make it unique. Pitch it 12 semitones down and I'm gonna put it in a new mixed channel because I'm gonna cue it in a different way and here you can do two things I recommend you to try both and just choose the one you like most you can do the same as the side vocals and link it to the main vocal mixed channel so this way when you add the reverb to the main vocal the side vocals and the lower octave one are gonna have reverb or the second option that is what I'm gonna do and just link it to the final bus this way what you're gonna have is the lower octave vocal without reverb this way is gonna sound a bit closer to you a bit more present in the mix and it's gonna help a bit more to give that body to the vocal. So as you can see here I have a final buzz so I'm just gonna link it here and in this vocal what we want to do is just cut the mids and the highs because all of these frequencies here are gonna be covered by the main vocal and the side vocals and also what we need and what I recommend to do is to compress a lot this vocal. So just open the CLA 2A and compress it a lot. <laughs> So now you play all of these layers together. One day. As you can hear, the lower one is really loud, so you don't want that. You want it really, really, really low in the mix. One day we can be together. The goal is to don't really hear it and just feel it. Now, of course, we can hear it because we don't have anything else going on. But when you put it on the track, probably you're not going to be able to hear the lower octave vocal and you're just going to be able to feel that body and that warmth. So, wow, well, now we have the side vocals to make it wider, the lower octave vocal to add some body and make it fatter. So we need some harmonies. The harmony is something that are going to help a lot to make the vocal sound a lot better and a lot more interesting. And it's something that the singer does just by singing the same thing, but just with other notes in each word and another melody. So how to do this. We're gonna use Newton or you can use Autotune or other plugins like that. So uh, again, what I'm gonna do is clone the vocal. I'm gonna make it unique. We're gonna open the mixer channel and on the master, I'm gonna put a Newton. Now what we're gonna do is open this one and send it to Newton. 
And as you can see, now it has the full vocal. What you're also gonna need, especially if you don't know a lot about music theory, is the key of your track. So here I have the key, and here we have Newton. So this vocal should start here. One day. And as you can see, you have here all the notes. So now you only need to move every word up and down, checking, of course, if it's in the key, and just creating a melody that you like. One day. One of course here sounds bad okay c is in key about the breath of the vocal like this I don't really recommend you to pitch it up and down because basically this doesn't have any key and if you pitch it up or down it's gonna sound really weird so I just created this melody Together. Now to make it a bit more natural, what I recommend you to do is move the center down because of course the singers don't sing exactly at the right note all the time. So just by moving this a bit down, as you can see, it moves and this way creates a more natural feeling. Then the variation, I also recommend you to move it because if you have it on zero, it's exactly that note all the time. But singers don't do this. When we talk and when we sing, we always are moving a little bit. So just by moving a little bit, you don't really need to do it like this, just on the center a bit less. And then this is a transition. I also recommend you to touch it a little bit because this way the transition from the note is going to be a bit more, more natural. Now when you have it, just click here and drag to the harmony one and just replace it. So now what I recommend you to do is put this one on the same channel as the side vocals. This way as we have the chorus, the reverb and all of that, it's gonna clash less with the main vocal. And now just touch the volume to make it fit better with the side vocals. I want it a little bit louder than the other ones. And finally, what we need? We need reverb. So here we have the reverb bus, and as you can see, the main vocal is linked here. And basically here we have a delay to add more space, the main reverb of the vocal, and then on this track I decided to add a new reverb. And as you can see, the pre-delay of this reverb is really big, and the decay is kind of long. So what I did with this reverb is kind of create a delay. As the pre-delay is really big, this reverb is starting kind of late in the track, so it's creating this kind of delay reverb, something like that. So is adding a bit more reverb but also creating a bit more space. Of course, if you want to know more about the reverb for a vocal, I recommend you to go and check the tutorial I told you before about vocal processing. And well, we play it all together, sounds like this. One day we can be together. So well guys, this is it, this is how you can create side vocals to add width to your vocal, how to create lower octave vocals to add some body, and especially how to create harmonies for your vocals. You don't really need to create just one harmony, you know, you can create different ones. Just try different melodies that work well together and it's gonna make your vocal even more interesting. And also what you can do is just in different parts of the track add different harmonies, this way you're gonna create different feelings. But as you can see, it's not really difficult, it just takes a bit of time, but I hope this tutorial helped you a lot in this topic. If it did, please just leave a like, this is the way you can support me. Remember to check my new track one day, stream it everywhere. Thank you for watching and guys see you in the next video.